Oh, we are diving in today on Love is Blind. Okay, so Gaslighting 101, you guys, if you don't know what gaslighting is or you've never seen it, oh, you need to watch these last two episodes Love is Blind just released. Jeremy, oh my gosh, he's so gross. I can't even with him. I just can't. Um, and I love Laura. And Laura, th let me tell you something. Um, Laura, how she owns it. Like she's pissed at him, but at the same time she says, I cannot believe, like, you know, I should have known. And that's the thing at the end of the day, all of you, we all know the writing is on the wall. And Jeremy, I didn't trust that guy. If you hear my first episode, when I started talking about him, I'm like, I don't like the guy. He's full of shit. And when you see this episode, he's just so gross. I'm like grossed out by his, and when I say gross, I don't even mean by like his physical self. I'm talking about the way that he carries himself. Laura has clearly been wronged and it's, and it's calling him out on it. And instead of him being just freaking sincerely apologetic, he is like, oh, like, you know, the way that you're talking to me, I won't be treated this way. What the fuck? Shut up, Jeremy. I'm like, get the hell over yourself. Um, and so, yeah, I'm over him and I'm so happy. Like, honestly, this is such a good lesson for, for anyone. If you are in a relationship with anyone and they treat you the way that Jeremy is treating Laura, how he lied and said, oh yeah, I went to, you know, he was, I don't know, 5.30 in the morning with Sarah Ann. And Sarah Ann, I can't, I can't with her because she's so freaking messy. And she's like, life is messy. No, you're messy. You're a messy bitch. And I don't, I'm not a fan of Sarah Ann by any means. I'm 100% team Laura. And Sarah Ann, the way that she is now going off into the fucking sunset on a jet ski with Jeremy, I'm like, they're perfect for each other. And Laura, save your tears because he doesn't deserve it. And so, yeah, I'm completely grossed out by Sarah Ann and Jeremy. And I think that there's so much to learn from seeing these episodes and be like, oh my God, you know what? I've, I'm with someone currently that reminds me of freaking Jeremy. Well, do what Laura did. Bye bye. It's bye bye time, assholes. <laughs> right? And so the next thing I want to talk about is Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. You know, the way that she gets so crazy anxious, she's so insecure. Um, I want to know from you, subscribe if you haven't subscribed on these shows that are gold for you, who are putting yourself out there to try to find your person. You know, I really need you to hear me on this because there is gold. There's so much lessons you can learn from this, right? So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, Spotify, YouTube, Apple, everywhere. Okay. I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay. Um, I need you to hear this with Chelsea. I felt like I was her. Like I've been Chelsea before I met my person, right? I've been Will, I've, I've been with Will for years, happily married, right? And he's a secure man and so am I. But before I met Will, I was an anxious, hot mess. I was very insecure. And so I get what Chelsea is feeling. She really is not in any place to be getting married. Like I feel like she has work to do still. Um, and Jimmy is like walking that line with her. He is learning and trying to reassure her. Um, I do not like the way that Jimmy went off at, you know, to go have a drink with his friend, which I think is fine. He went out for his friend, but I don't understand why he didn't invite her. He was like, oh, you can come with. Um, nice try, Jimmy. Like, I was like, what are we doing? So I feel like when you're saying you can come with and you're not making that person a priority, that is a huge red flag. You know, that is a problem for anyone is you don't have to be insecure or not. Like it's, it doesn't matter if you are planning to marry someone. It's about, are they a priority in your life? Right? So for him to be like, I, my priority is my friend and I'm going to go out for a drink with my friend. Oh yeah. You, <laughs> I forgot about you. <laughs> You're the person I'm supposed to marry. Oh, you can come with, what are we doing, Jimmy? And so Chelsea's triggered, spiraling, spiraling, insecure, and throw in a dirty freaking martini, which by the way, I've been dirty martini drunk before. And I, my thing was apple teenies. Um, and I remember the day that I was like, no more of that. Like I truly had to say, I'm not going to drink any more martinis because martini drunk is crazy drunk, like crazy on another level. And so like all your insecurities will come up. And so, yeah, I had a total, not like as bad as Chelsea. I don't think anyone <laughs> feel bad saying that. 
poor, pobrecita Megan Fox at Chelsea. Um, yeah, no, I've never been that crazy insecure. At least I don't want to remember myself that way, you know? Um, I, either way, what Jimmy said is very triggering for someone who is anxious and insecure. Okay. And so that whole freaking meltdown, that whole argument that happened, oh, geez, it was just exhausting and awful and cringe. Right. And so if you feel like you're in something like that, or you've been in something like that, like you need to own it. Like what I'm saying, like, oh shit, I was totally anxious. And you don't, I want you to know there's a better way. There's another relationship. There's a healthy relationship where you feel freaking at peace. Right. So that is Chelsea and Jimmy are like the epitome of what you don't want to feel like. It's like a hot, crazy mess. You know, towards the end of the episode uh, that they released the last one, I started to feel like, oh my God, they're riding a roller coaster and things are so sweet. I am not going to be like, oh yeah, and they lived happily ever after. Like, I feel that something else is going to happen. Jimmy's going to do something, not with bad intentions. But Chelsea's going to get triggered and it's spiral again. Like I, I'm not holding my breath on, oh yeah, and then everything's perfect, right? So let's see what happens because the next episode that is going to come out um, and I will release and I will 100% address what happens if they're going to say I do or hell no at the altar. Um, but I'm going to just predict. I'm going to predict right now that Chelsea is going to say I do. Of course, she's going to say I do. And Jimmy is going to come to his senses. Oh my God. And he's going to say, I don't. Oh my God. That would be really shocking because right now when you see it, it feels like Jimmy's going to say yes. It feels like Jimmy's going to say yes. And, and it makes me really wonder like why? Like, I mean, like not because Chelsea's awful. It's that Chelsea is not completely stable. Like she needs to get her shit together on her own, you know? So like she has some work to do. So I don't know. Let's see. Um, of course, Laura and Jeremy are done, so they're not going to, no one's going to the altar, right? And then Clay, the last one I'm going to talk about, okay, um, get out of here, Clay. Like, I just can't. He is not confident that he's going to be a good husband. And this is when the writing is on the wall in your face. Someone's telling you, I'm not going to be a good husband, right? And then ADs is like, I believe in you. I believe. I'm like, are you shitting me right now, AD? Like, what are you doing? And like, I love AD. I think she's hilarious. She's awesome. But I don't get it. Like, she's like, I have faith, you know? And her mom is saying, you know what? You have faith and you believe in him and you will follow him. Like, you, you know, she's like, I'm going to follow him. If a man tells you that I don't believe that a black man, that's what he said. Like, I've never seen a black man. What, what about Barack Obama? What are we talking about? Like they even talked about Barack Obama on this last episode. I'm like, hello, they, he's been faithful, right? <laughs> Hasn't he? I haven't heard any breaking news. So what I'm just saying is like, look for evidence, Clay. To look for evidence of amazing freaking black men who have been faithful. Okay, there's a whole bunch of them. And like, I want him to believe in it. But AD cannot believe for the both of them. If a guy, if someone tells you, I don't believe that I'm going to be a good husband, I'm scared, I'm not confident in this, I'm like, run. I'm like running out the door. If Will told me before we got married, engaged, you know, I'm, I care about you, but I just don't, I've never seen a marriage really work out. I've never seen a guy be faithful and I don't even know like how to be that. I'd be like, bye bye. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, don't sign me up for that shit. What am I going to do? Wait around for you to cheat on my ass? Nice try. Nice try. You want to sign up for a freaking marriage with someone that truly believes in it. And if Clay said, I have not seen it, but I've done the work. I've done therapy. I have. He's like, I haven't done therapy. Like He literally has. It's so funny. He said this. He was like, AD, I haven't done therapy. I'm not confident I'm going to be a good husband. Um, I'm scared that I'm going to cheat. Like everyone's cheated and all I've seen is cheating. Like how does that even look like not to cheat? And AD's like, I'm here for you. I'm here with you. I'm not leaving. I'm like, what the hell AD is wrong with AD? And so, you know, I feel like if you sign up for an experiment, like, <laughs> it's like, okay, you signed up for an experiment AD, but when you see the writing on the wall, 
you can walk away. It's not like you're, you're going to wait it like, oh my gosh, I have committed to this and I'm going to see it through. No, if the person is telling you that they're going to suck as a husband, you do not have to follow through on this freaking experiment, right? Like, what would you do? I want to hear from you. If you're hearing this, you know, reach out to me on Instagram, the Jackie Laura. Let me know. Is this landing for you? Are you like, oh my God, I'm so with you, Clay. This is crazy that AD is going to go on with this and marry him. And the other thing about Clay and AD, something that I'm like, he says some of the nice things too. Like, you're my best friend. Oh, like, mm. and then his actions do not align. When she did something really sweet for him and put it on like the kitchen table or whatever, he never even showed up. Like he, she told his, her mom about it. And I'm like, why are you tolerating bullshit, AD? And he can tell you all that, oh my God, you're my best friend. And oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. But if he is not showing up for you and if he is not, his actions are not aligning to his bullshit words, it's bye-bye time. It is freaking bye-bye time. AD needs to get on the bye-bye wagon. Like seriously, like what, what are we doing? Like honestly, that girl, like I, like she's awesome. So I'm like, oh my God, AD, I, I hope someone, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like at the altar, my prediction, AD is going to say yes. And what's his face? Clay. Is, what's his face? Clay is going to say no. And He's just like a man child. I'm getting massive man child vibes from him. So if you are watching this and, you know, watching the show on Love is Blind and you're like, oh my God, Clay reminds me of my fucking boyfriend. What are you doing? <laughs> what, what, what are you doing with your boyfriend? Like, this is when you say bye bye, right? Like, if any of your, if your significant other reminds you of Jeremy, bye bye. If you're, if they're reminding you of Clay, bye bye. It's like, these are massive red flags, okay? It's like, what else needs to happen, you know? And, and by the way, when you wait it out, like, this is where I'm really going to, like, my heart goes out for AD. What's going to happen is AD is going to play it out. Let's say they say yes, and he cheats on her. This is where I feel like, you know, we, the writing's on the wall, but we keep staying. We keep hoping he's going to change. He's going to be the man that you want him to be, the potential. You see all that potential. He'll change for you, right? And then when he doesn't, you just wasted a lot of time and you lose more faith in like the freaking, like you're in love. Like you lose faith that in, in good men. Your, your story is like all men are cheating assholes. No, just fucking Clay. <laughs> just, just the guy that kept telling you. Just the guy that kept telling you he doesn't know what it is to be faithful, right? It's like, there's so many good men. Like, why are you choosing him? Oh my God, like, is Matthew even better than Clay at this point? I don't, I, why are these our only options? They're not, they're not. I, AD should just say bye-bye to Matthew and to, what's his face, Clay? <laughs> Okay. Thank you for listening. If you know, clearly I have been triggered by all of this. <laughs> clearly. Um, let me know what you thought. I'm thank you for listening. You know, you're going to hear from me after the next episodes come out. What the hell is going to happen? I want to hear your prediction. Let me know on YouTube, Instagram, the Jackie Lore. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Don't settle for anything less than crazy love because it has to be crazy love or nothing. Bye. Thank you.